What's up guys? Milner Trapper here. I know it's been a while, but I'm back making videos, getting back into the swing of things, getting prepared for this, this winter. Today I want to talk about a cage trap. The small cage trap that have a heart where it's got two doors on each side. I'm just give you show you what I'm talking about. I'm talking about one of these. One of these right here. Where it goes all the way through, just like that. Now, these things are nice uh, to a certain extent. You see how sensitive that is? It goes down pretty easy. So, what you gotta look at with this is, it's pretty simple uh, design. It has a, has a swivel, I don't know if it's a swivel here. Uh, and then you got these two guides on the side that uh, hope that pull down and hook to it, and the uh, whatever you want to trap. Now you're not gonna trap nothing big in this. This is for smaller critters like uh, squirrels. I, I mean, I've trapped little small possums in this. I have trapped uh, many a many a little rats. Uh, I had a phone. I had a call one time where somebody called me to to come and they had a rat problem and the rats were running across the, the fence line at night I put one of these on there they run through bam every time so this is a pretty good little trap uh, I'm gonna set it up and then I'm gonna show you I'm gonna set it up put some bait in it and you can you gonna see if it works so so next time guys little little trap that I use I, I use it every year seems to work out fine but make sure you maintain all this stuff right here you gotta you gotta grease this stuff up guys if you don't your traps gonna go out there in the woods and it's gonna get it's gonna get stuck it's not gonna go down all the way and you're gonna go out there and it's, it's gonna be for example if this right here is not doing right this right here will stay about like that maybe a little lower about like this and your little critters gonna get out it'll force its way out so you want to trap uh, squirrels possums little bit small possums maybe even a small raccoon I ain't ever caught a raccoon in one especially rats <clears throat> I'm talking about little bitty rats I ain't talking about now, uh, uh, not even about m mice, but I'm talking about little rats. You, you know, if you have a, a wolf rat problem, a lot of people don't even know what a wolf rabbit rat is, but it's one of those rats that'll whoop the cat's ass. You got a, rat, a, a, a big wolf rat, you're gonna catch little cats in this. You're gonna catch many different things, maybe even a little, a little puppy, whatever. But if you wanna, you wanna trap animals a little smaller, like squirrels, and you don't wanna kill them, or and you want to just do, you know, you don't want to shoot them and bloody up the place. This is your best, best bet, a little small trap like this. And the good thing about these is once you get used to these, you can start making your own, use the same mechanisms and make your own. That's the goal. So I thank you for watching the video, guys. Um, I hope every, everybody's been doing fine. Uh, the, 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 the weather's raining again and it's hot as crap and I, I, I'm ready for winter to come so we can get back to trapping these raccoons and so, so next time I hope you enjoy your, your trapping time and I really hope you're, you're, you're prepared for what gets in your traps. Thank you very much.